So today we're going to take a look at Wincy's 210 gallon gorgeous reef tank. What's going on guys? Devin with Reef Dudes. I'm here in Niagara Falls, Canada with Wincy taking a look at her gorgeous tank. Now one really cool thing with this tank is Wincy she does things very simply. On my tank I'm extremely high tech. I love my gadgets. And you are the complete opposite. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. <laughs> now this amazes me. And one really cool thing about this, like your tank is all just it's stunning. Like everything in here is gorgeous. You have so Thank many you. nice acros. So when we're talking today, you do you dose by hand. Yes. You auto top off by hand. Yes. Everything 100 percent by hand. Yes. It amazes me. <laughs> but it's easy for me. This is true. Do you run a protein skimmer? That I do. Yeah. Do you run a refugium? No. So anything else besides the skimmer? No. No. Well, I do um, GFO stuff, so carbon yep. and raw foss. Okay. And how? And I, I use um, media bags, sometimes pantyhose, mm -hmm. which you'll see in the sump. Mm -hmm. So just throw in right underneath the drain yep. and just let water by, pass it and that's it. That's super easy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> now, one of the cool the thing that I find super interesting, aside from your tank being absolutely amazing, is the fact that my tank is crazy high tech and yours is crazy simple and it just goes to show that you don't need to spend a fortune and you don't need to have all this crazy equipment for a gorgeous reef tank. No, you don't. <laughs> I spend the money on corals. <laughs> I can see that. So many nice corals. How long has your tank been up? This, two years and five months. Nice. Came from tank transfer, my six okay. foot tank. How long is this one? Eight, six, eight? Seven feet long. Seven feet. Okay, nice. And then how long was the, did you have the six foot tank for? Three years. I right. started with the two, then mm -hmm. three, then four, then five, then six, then this <laughs> is seven. So 12 inches at a time. Yeah, just keep on growing. <laughs> <laughs> so with every time you just keep adding more and more length? Yeah, because I find long tank are so functional. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't like height because then when I surf my tank, it hurts me if it's too tall. So mm -hmm. I find the perfect height is like two feet. Yep. Can you reach in your tank now? You Not to the bottom, Okay. but to the mid. Okay. When I um, did my current tank, I basically measured to like my armpit height and that's where I made the top of the tank. But you're so much taller than me. Well, that helps a little bit. But <laughs> <laughs> your skate gives a lot of depth too because you start at the front pretty much and just ramp it up very slowly to the back. I do, I love skating. It's fun. And nothing is glued. So if I get bored, mm -hmm. Most people know that I get bored very easily. I rescape a lot, right? But mm -hmm. once I get to the point where I know that I'm happy with it as I swear I would not, I, tr I would try not to touch it, mm -hmm. right? But most people would just laugh and say, yeah, okay, sure. You know, they'll put it bed at me. Four weeks, <laughs> two months, right? Mm -hmm. But then the way it's escaped right now, it works well. Mm -hmm. No, you got tons of room for corals right now and, and nothing's really touching like there's enough space I for don't anything. allow them to touch that's good besides if they do on crust mm -hmm. right but once they touch from the top I prune I will literally have to prune it because I find out when they touch it no matter what it does damage mm -hmm. doesn't matter if it's the same species it would you would still see the burn marks most of the time yep now you also were saying before that you will frag stuff to kind of get it to grow Absolutely. Fragging is really, really a good thing. Because I find that when I frag, the course, it, it almost promotes stimulation growth. And you can see how long tissue heals, mm -hmm. right? And that part of it grows back very quickly. So let me show you. Where's my stick? Okay. Okay. So if you look at the strawberry shortcake right there, mm -hmm. right? That was fragged maybe about four weeks ago. But look at this part. All the tissue has grown back. This was completely frag about three months ago. Mm -hmm. and this is all brand new branches now, nice. right? So I just frag needle in a haystack right here. And you can see that's pretty deep cut. Mm -hmm. That would heal in about 10 days. You would see it, you would see the uh, polyps in the middle and you'll see new growth. That's pretty, right? that's pretty good. But if you look at all my SPS corals, mm -hmm. everything is very compact. Yep. Everything. I don't get like long, thick branches that like comes out from the colony. It's like, look at this limer, mm -hmm. just compact. Now, do you think that's from right? all the fragging? It could be, or it could be the light, because... The light, the flow. I've yeah. seen a lot of reef tanks with SPS colony, and most of them are very thick, and they form long branches. Mm -hmm. But 
look at all my pieces. They are just compact. Now even you, you also have a lot of light up here. Oh, I do. <laughs> so let's take a look at your light. So, so we got right, Reef Bright Tech, and you got them front and back. T5. So we got Reef Bright T5. Next deck. Okay, so we got the Razor LEDs. Reef Bright. Another Reef Bright. Reef Bright on top, <laughs> and T5 in the back. <laughs> so you have so a lot of light I, uh, on this thing. Yeah, and I do 16 hours. Okay. Okay, so only yep. eight hours of downtime. Okay. But it ramps. So as you can tell, like throughout these 16 hours, I have prime time starts around 2 till 6.30. That's where everything is at pretty much max. Okay. Now, have you ever par tested your tank? Do you have an idea how much light it is or you just keep... It's been, it's been tested for par. Yep. So the middle is around 4. Okay. Right here is around 450. Okay. Bottom is about 100. 104. Okay, so 450 to 5 in the upper, but 100 at the center. Yeah, bed. I don't really hit 5, so 450 okay. is where it's a good I chunk. stand. Right? Cool. I do run a very ultra low nutrient system. Mm -hmm. So right now my nitrate's at 0. Got it. My phosphate's at 0 0.03. So close enough to 0? It's, yeah, it's very, mm -hmm. very like low. So, But you know what? It seems to work for me, even with like very like with zero nitrates. Well, your colors are amazing, so it's, you're doing something Thanks. great. Right, and I think it's because the corals are so compact, so you see so much more colors. It could be, no. It's, so, right, it's because mm -hmm. it's not dispersed. It's like, because they're so compact, they're together. Yep. So, of course, you'll see clusters, mm -hmm. right? And I think that's why it, there's so much color. Oh, it just looks amazing. <laughs> Thanks. Everything's beautiful. Do you do many water changes in your tank? I do uh, right now maybe once every seven to eight weeks. Okay. But I do um, a lot of uh, I sell frags as well. So I would say constant water change. <laughs> yeah, like mini water changes, right? Every mm -hmm. every day almost. And <laughs> water evaporation, I lose about two to three gallons a day. Mm -hmm. So that's like in thirty days, that's like almost seventy gallons, right? Yeah, that's a good. So chart. that that's like a that's a lot. That's a good point. <laughs> that's a fair point. Right? So yep. to me, that's kind of like water change when you think about it, because mm -hmm. it evaporated. So yep. if it's dirty, it's gone. <laughs> right? Yeah. And I dose. So that would supplement my trace elements. Well, just the amount of, if you're selling right? frags almost daily, every bag of water is a tiny water change. Yeah, it's true. Now, what um, I was going to ask you, so what do you use for dosing your tank? I do um, two parts, mm -hmm. calcium, alkalinity, by uh, B-ionic, yep. ESV. Uh, magnesium, I dose once a week, mm -hmm. right? If my pH is really low, I will use lime water. Okay. Right? I like my pH hovering between 7.8 to 8.3. Okay. All right. That's a good I, range. I love spread. So, mm -hmm. I mean, like, I don't want my tank to be, like, constant. You don't want it to be too stable. No, I don't want, I don't want, nope. I don't want it to be constant because. You don't want it to be too easy for the corals. I do not. Because mm -hmm. when you think about the ocean, right, it fluctuates. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, and then if you baby them so much where you don't have any changes, they will become more sensitive. I don't think it, it's good for the corals when you think about it, right? Because they're sense. so used to being constant. Anything that changes, they will react to that. And that is like stress. Mm -hmm. But if, they, if you tend to keep on fluctuating a bit within a, like a, a normal parameter, right? Mm -hmm. I find that they can, if they can tolerate that, they will become hardier. That's probably true. Right, that's my theory. Now, do you have any that are like, nope, and just don't do well in your tank? I'm blessed. Yeah, everything's magical. I'm blessed. You got the this magic. This is a community tank. Any any PCC in here probably has a name, came from a reefer, they gave it to me, and I grew it out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you point to any corals, I'll tell you where it came from. That's, How's that's, that? That's amazing. I don't remember the name of all of mine. Right, there's about <laughs> 30 people in like names that, that yep. came from reefers in this tank. Yeah. Right, maybe seven retail shops or vendors, but the rest are from reefers. How about that light blue and green one right beside the blue and yellow zoa? Let's test you. Which one? That one. This one? Yeah. Came from Albert Poon. That is orange passion. When I first got it, that was this size. Oh, nice. Okay, oh. and that's now this size in two years and three months. Nice. Very nice. Right? I had a tiny frag, mine bit the dust, so what's that? <laughs> Here's the thing. You see the bottom? Yep. This one took almost 10 months to a year before it started growing. All mm -hmm. it did was the bottom. All it did was uncrust, right? Yep. But this piece is also orange passion. So mm -hmm. is that piece. This came from a taller branch, which is like okay. three quarter inch. That's um, 
one inch. So you can see there are a lot more branches and less bottom and cresting. Now, were these frags from different people or just your own frag you split up to different places? This came from my brother. Mm -hmm. This came from Kyle Knox. He's a local from here. Mm -hmm. So like I said, you point any yeah. corals, I'll tell you I know where, you're good. where you're I good. came from and where, who I got it from. You're good. Right? Here's a coral. Oh wait, it's oh, downstairs. The yellow one right there. This one? Yeah. This is a wolf, uh, Wolverine, rough Wolverine yeah. from Tang, nice. GTA Reefer. You are good. Oh, trust me. Any <laughs> coral you see, because you know what? I know all my corals. That's Doesn't good. matter where you point in the tank. Yeah, that's awesome. That's good though. Because <laughs> I pay attention and I watch them grow. Mm -hmm. Like I baby these guys, right? And I know all their temperaments quite well. So, because growing up corals is actually what I really enjoy. Mm -hmm. Right? Because the hobby itself is changing. I'm guessing like in a few years, it will be very hard. You will be the source of all the different corals because you have everything <laughs> beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> I do think it will be that way eventually though. It's gonna, just going to come down to trading it's, at the end, eventually. SPS is hard to find that mm -hmm. many variety. Yep. Like I'm always on a hunt, right? Something that I don't have, mm -hmm. right? I would try and get it and I would always look for stuff. Yep. Right? Is there any corals on your wish list? <sighs> Not sure. Yeah. <laughs> I really just, don't just know Just you'll anymore. see something one day and you're like, ooh, I yeah. don't have that. Right? But anemones are definitely my favorite invert. Mm -hmm. Like, you can see the flame. The flame's really cool, actually. Yeah, there's a flame. Yeah, the, the flame's beautiful. Right? Oh, I would say this guy is like more than five years. Nice. It's huge. Oh, it's uh, one of my first. That's how I started the hobby. Yeah. Is uh, finding Nemo. Yeah, that, that yeah, got you in. That's how I got into this hobby. Cause, and now look at this. Right? SPS I didn't get into it until like the last really four four years ago mm -hmm. because it didn't do much like for me in the beginning because there's no movement, right? So so what happened now? <laughs> I have to thank um, Albert because he showed me that some SPS are just so colorful and when mm -hmm. you grow them out, you'll be like mesmerized mesmerized by yeah. the colors, right? So I bought a, a, a signature frag pack, mm -hmm. and from then on, I was You're helped. Fucked. I was hooked. I was like, I need more colors. The colors. I just need more colors. Well, if you like movement, you just get lots of milliporas with the little tiny pulps. Yes. Right? I'm calling this piece bubblegum millie. Yeah. This is going to be a uh, grapefruit millie. Nice. This would be a raspberry millie because I'm going by its color. Yeah. I'm going with, uh, you know, fruit names. Now, right? have you found many have changed colors since you've added them to your tank versus when you got them? No, the color has retained, has retained? for me. I, I find it interesting because like on my tanks, all LEDs and some systems are all T5 and just the different cells will change. I mean, you have both in your tank, but... Colors only change for me, it's like lighter, darker. Mm -hmm. But if the color is there when I got it, yep. right, usually it's pretty good, mm -hmm. right? Unless I buy a piece that's already not as colorful and lost color, then I can see the change where it'll, it'll color up more. Yep. Right? That's the only thing I noticed. Okay. Right? Oh, so many nice corals. So, you were saying for your filtration, so it's just all below the tank? Just got a it's in the or basement. It basement. Ah, it's okay. in the basement. That was part of their upgrade. Ah, okay. Right? Because no, it was a lot of work, right? Oh, yeah. Going from like a six footer to a seven footer, like yep. 12 inches. But because I knew that it would be plumbed downstairs, mm -hmm. I said, okay, let's do it. Nice. Right? It's nice to have everything separated, keep the tank oh God, super quiet. Uh, you know what, if I were to do any service, whatever, I don't have to like, you know, bend over and start, you know, looking or checking. It's mm -hmm. like uh, waist high. It's like, That's it's nice. comfort height. That's nice. Right? No more bending over. You can tell you've had a few tanks already. I, I know what I want, right? Because I always like emphasize it's about your lifestyle. Yep. If you dread doing it, you would never you do, it. do it. You exactly. just won't. Right? I'm telling you right now, right? If you make it easy right off the get-go and it suits your lifestyle, it's yep. easy peasy. That's true. Right? Seriously, I don't have an auto feeder. I feed these fish every day. That's good. <laughs> you know what? So... Mm -hmm. <laughs> I actually just add Ruan to give them a lunchtime snack. Oh. I, I feed frozen every night to my tank. I stopped frozen for a long time. What do you feed now? Uh, flake with um, roids. So okay. this is what I use. You use Omega Flakes with yeah. reef roids? And do you feed refroid to the tank every day? Yes. Yeah? For the last three years. Okay. Every day, religiously. How much do you add in with, with your food? Quarter teaspoon. Quarter teaspoon? It's a good chunk every day. Yeah, nice. 
So you're feeding it. Yeah, that's a good chunk. You can see the fish are looking for food because this is where I feed. Yeah. I know, they're like, it's dinner right. time, Mom. Do you want me to feed them now? If you want, sure. All right, let's do okay. it. Broadcast feeding is the best. I 100% agree with you. Feeding frenzy. Oh, there's some uh, seaweed in there. <laughs> Forgot. Little extra bonus. Yeah, I do. Um, I use a seaweed every day for my yep. tangs. This is why I think, if I feed too much, mm. they won't they won't graze. So I make sure yep. it's just enough that, that they will clean my rock keep every day. Good. Right? Mm -hmm. If I don't see them graze, I cut my feeding in half right away. Okay. So they know better. They better clean because <laughs> that's. That is their job. That's their reward. That is their it's job. A good meal. Tangs, yes, right? Mm -hmm. If you don't graze, you're not getting fed. <laughs> Got to keep them working. That's right. Yep. So I don't care if they bag, because they're always bagging. Oh, they do. Every time I walk into <laughs> the tank, like puppies. Do you just feed once per day? Yes. Yep. So flakes and reef roids. And you can tell most of my fish are quite healthy. Oh, yes, they're like. huge. That Melanaris rat is a monster. Oh, I got that from a reefer. Yeah, he's huge. His mother decided to shut down a tank, mm -hmm. so then I, uh, I housed, I decided to uh, grab, grab it off him because I knew it's uh, such a healthy rat, mm -hmm. right? And he's, uh, he must be seven years old. Yeah, he's huge. I thought mine was big, and I was <laughs> tiny after seeing yours. I keep um, a lot of uh, softies. You can tell, uh, leathers, oh, um, yeah, mushrooms. Mm-hmm. Right? Mean, pictures don't do justice. They don't. What, when you post your pictures on, oh man, this is just <laughs> different time. Thank you. That brain right there, believe it or not, I bought it from Aquatic Kingdom oh. about three and a half years ago. Mm -hmm. He had cut it in four pieces. Oh wow. Now it's one full piece. Oh. It took that long to become full again? <laughs> yeah, because it was tiny. It was a quarter of a pie. Oh, yeah. Well, now it's not pie anymore, is it? At least it's back to the regular, <laughs> normal look. That guy has some crazy colors in it. I love the, the anemone, how bubbled it is. Yeah. No, oh, they're my favorite name. That flame one's really cool, too, in the back. The, just oh, the yeah. colors and the tips on it are awesome. I love my Duncan. Duncans are a good one. They're a classic. They are definitely. They're one of my favorite LPS. I'm with you. So many nice corals. All in one place. <laughs> 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 I just want to grow them and share them. That's mm -hmm. my passion. That's awesome. I wish I lived closer. <laughs> <laughs> um. I bought the FMM for my uh, auto uh, water yep. change and whatnot. Right. I'm telling you, it's the best thing I did. And FMM, man, it just <laughs> opens up so many possibilities to mm -hmm. doing your tank. That's for the optical sensors? You guys yeah. like automation. Yeah. That, that means you guys are lazy. <laughs> no. no. We get more time to enjoy the Yeah. Home. Less, more enjoyment, less work. Exactly. For me to put three guys a day in here is literally less than 120 seconds, two minutes. I'm done. Boom. Okay, yeah. for me to dose, what, 15 seconds? <laughs> oh, well, I have my friend Bill here, comes here, I'll give him a house key, and he's such a great guy, he'll come every day and do what I do. Oh, well, that's nice of him. <laughs> that's nice. See, I have mm -hmm. like, even when I was dosing, it was doing like 0.8 of a mil every 15 minutes, so it's just stable right. all day. I, I told but you, you I like the like swings. Stuff. I do not like stability. I like the swing within range. So you make your corals work so that they're hardier. They don't become slackers from this pristine stability. That's my theory. That is truly my theory because oh. every little nubs I have in my tank grows. And I can't knock it because your tank is gorgeous. Right? Here's, here's the growth you guys won't believe. Red Diablo. This was no bigger than that. Two oh. years and three months. Nice. Right there. And how many times I fragged it? I don't know, five times. Nice. So there's a growth. Mine looks nothing like that. Yours looks a hundred times better than the look of it. Mine's not even red right now. <laughs> I just got one about a month ago off somebody. It's very, very dark colors right now. Not light at all like that. I Patience. do love my Kenya tree here. Most people don't like Kenya tree. Yep. This is a Japanese Kenya tree, mm -hmm. right? It's not nice. I mean, like, it just... I have one. It's, yeah, my clowns but... like it. They w 
I had three bubble tips, they would not touch it. They sleep in the canyon tree. That's all they care about. That's all they care about? Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's why I'm like, all right, right? You, you can have it. Most people think that to keep SPS with leather, right? It doesn't It doesn't really work, but I mean like, why? Because As long as you run a bit of carbon, then you're good. Precisely. Exactly. Carbon is your friend, yep. right? Never overdose carbon. I always use yes. little carbon because there is an article that say carbon creates HLE for tanks, yeah. right? But I've never had that on any of my tanks since day one running carbon. It's, I do it if, low. If you do, yeah, low is okay. Same as same GFO. Too much is bad. It can Correct. strip it out of your Too corals. much of anything is bad. Yep. Right? Everything in moderation. Yep. Exactly. So no refugium, nothing nope. but a skimmer. Yep. Some carbon and a little roll of phosphor GFO. Yep. You'll see my system downstairs. Should we check it out? And yeah, you can okay. see and you can see where I have my um so you got water set up. So yes. So it's drawer downstairs, so we can I'll go downstairs and have a look. I even clean my basement for you guys. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it it <laughs> this is only the best treatment today. <laughs> this is the sump room we got. Yes. Your pipes come down from the top. Yes. This is your sump. Yep. Couple blocks of marine pier. You got a yep. nice big skimmer. I bought this marine pier because when I set my frag tank upstairs, mm -hmm. I didn't have um, protein skimmer, all that stuff. So I used our live rock. So I used that. Yep. Right now that it's, everything is down here, mm -hmm. I throw it in my sump. Nice. All right. Now you got a frag tank to the one side. Such a simple sump, eh? Yep. So simple. Oh, uh, return pump and skimmer. Yep. That's it. Right, and here are my media bags. So this, <laughs> tiny holes, yep. This, for a foss. Yep, nice. Right? Also, you don't even this, have a reactor. No, because I have to clean it, so I don't want to use it. It, was, used, it used to be here somewhere, okay? But I don't want to clean it. This is carbon, mm -hmm. right? And this is also for a foss. And just let it hang just, underneath the yep, overflow pipes? Just like that, right? And... This is how I keep my skimmer, dark color. Like, yeah, uh, super not, dry skim. Yeah, not really wet skim. Yeah. Back and they're drilled. Okay. And then, so that's my drain. That's my return tee off from my main. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's it. You know what? There's no flow. Next to nothing. I don't have a flow in here. I don't have any, any uh, wave makers. Just my return. Mm -hmm. Just subtle. That's it's it. Humidity. Right? And yep. look, there's, I mean, like, they're polyps extension. So how big do you think your system is if you combine the frag tanks? Yep, Main straight. is 210. Yep. This is 40. Yep. Uh, my sum is 75. Mm -hmm. And the other, that's a 40 breeder. So 40, 40 is 80. 75 is 155. 155 and 210 so 350, is 3. 360, 400. Ish. Yeah. Minus the rock and stuff. So mm -hmm. water volume wise, I would say maybe less than 350. I say less. Less? 300 gallons? It's a good chunk. Yeah. Right. Total water volume, maybe mm -hmm. around 300, yep. I would say. Okay. This nice. still makes me laugh that you have an apex and you don't. I do not see any apex. I don't see. Here. Where is the apex? Yeah, you, you know what? I. This is it. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is the whole system right here. Oh, you know what? I gotta take that. This we got. No we way. have a Neptune bracket and we have an orange no, valve no, just to tie in the color scheme. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I do have to bring it upstairs. I do. Here is the apex. It runs this, this massive 210, 300 gallons. No, my apex is upstairs. <laughs> this, this, this is my energy bar to eat the you know EBE. I, I see it. You're, par you're powering a lot of stuff with it. <laughs> there is the pH probe. There is the salinity probe. ORP, I think. And the ORP. Yeah, probe. yeah. This is what You know what? I always. Here, I'm going to show you how I do my all top off. Yep. You see the hair? I usually fill up to right there. Yep. So, how I do it is I grab. This is orange, you see? This is my orange oh. Apex container for home, home, home people, all right? So, this is what I do, okay? This is this is where everything happens in here, okay? Right? So, fill up this the is like a well, right? I go and grab my water from the well. Right? Yep. <laughs> That's why I'm telling wow. you, it is that easy. All right? And then when I do it every day, and right? When I come downstairs, right? And I do one of this. <laughs> Done. That's, oh, yeah. That, how your... many seconds did that take me? No, seriously. That was very quick. But the bucket's orange right? to match the apex. <laughs> and then when I dose, this is how I do it, right? I grab my bionic, right? 
And I know how much this is 40 mil right here, right? Yeah. So at night time, I do 40 plus another 20, 60, I'm done! I know it's not hard. <laughs> like, I'm, it still amazes me. That, That's good though. What is that? Calcium? Elk. Elk? I you never just dose. 60 ml elk. Yes. Straight up. I know, right? Straight, straight up. If I do 120, I'm in trouble. Because I've, because I learned my lesson not to. You know what I'm so thinking. I break it in two parts. Know your limit and dose within it. Exactly. <laughs> right? You are the controller. I am the controller. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. And if it doesn't read, oh, something's broken. Because well, yeah, I just dumped that this. much. What? Yeah. That's oh, that's what. Right. <laughs> right under the tank. For me to frag sometimes when I break up stuff. Whack. So you frag. Keep it right there. That's, that's what, what I do. do. Oh my. Makes sense. <laughs> so Can't get the branch off. Whack. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, done. You sit on the stairs and watch your tank? Oh, every morning when I go downstairs? Yeah, just stop, it's, hang uh, out for a few. There's my jackpot. I don't need to win. <laughs>